The cell cycle is a fundamental process that governs the growth, replication, and division of eukaryotic somatic cells. It can be thought of as their life cycle. The eukaryotic cell cycle can be divided into two stages, interphase and mitosis. In this video, we'll focus on the details of interphase, which is the longest phase of the cycle where cells conduct their daily activities and prepare for division. Let's say we have a cell that's right at the beginning of the cell cycle. This is the mother cell. For this video, I'm only going to draw out the relevant parts of the cell. So here we have the nucleus, and inside the nucleus we have the DNA. For simplicity, we'll say that this cell only has six chromosomes, or three homologous pairs of chromosome, or two N chromosomes. Note that the DNA is not condensed right now. The DNA resembles a long thread and is typically not visible during the majority of the cell's life cycle. I'm also going to draw the centrioles here because it will be important in the future stages of the cell cycle. We begin the cell cycle with interphase, shown in green, which is the longest phase of the cycle where cells conduct their daily activities and prepare for division. It is comprised of three distinct stages, G1 for gap one, S for synthesis, and G2 for gap two. During G1 phase, cells will grow in size, prepare for DNA replication, and perform their specialized functions. For example, a pancreatic cell will produce insulin. The G1 stage is crucial for assessing external signals and internal conditions to determine whether the cell should proceed with division. This is when the cell reaches the G1 checkpoint, also called the restriction or R checkpoint. If conditions are not favorable, the cell can exit the cell cycle and enter what's called the G0 or G0 stage. The cell is in a quiescent state where they continue their specialized function but halt activities related to cell division. In fact, the more a specialized a cell becomes, the less likely it is to continue reproducing itself. For example, neurons and muscle cells often enter the G0 stage and remain quiescent for extended periods of time. They focus on performing their specialized functions without actively dividing. These specialized cells are replenished by the reproduction of less specialized precursor cells called stem cells. For cells that pass G1 checkpoint and enters the S phase, they are now irreversibly committed to division barring any unexpected problems such as DNA damage or replication errors. The S phase is where DNA replication occurs. Each chromosome is duplicated, forming sister chromatids. These sister chromatids will remain attached together in the middle at what's called the centromere. It is important to note that in the S phase, the DNA remains in its uncondensed form. So by the end of the S phase, each cell now contains two complete and identical sets of the genome, or 4N chromosomes. The centrioles are also duplicated in this phase. Next, the cell enters the G2 phase. Here, the cell grows in size and prepares for mitosis by synthesizing additional organelles, such as mitochondria and ribosomes. The G2 phase is crucial for confirming that the cell has accurately replicated its DNA and that all necessary components are in place for successful cell division. After G2, the cell must pass the G2 checkpoint. This checkpoint ensures that the cell has completed DNA replication accurately. The cell evaluates DNA integrity, repairs any DNA damage, ensures that the cellular environment is suitable for mitosis, and verifies that there are sufficient cellular components, such as organelles and proteins, to support cell division. If the DNA is damaged and cannot be repaired after G2 phase checkpoint, the cell may undergo a programmed cell death process called apoptosis. 
Apoptosis eliminates cells with irreparable DNA damage and prevents mutations from propagating to future daughter cells. If all is well, the cell can continue on with mitosis, which we will cover in the next video. Now, time for some questions to test your understanding. What important process occurs at the G1 checkpoint during interphase? Pause here if you need more time to think. The answer is C. Assess external and internal conditions. The G1 checkpoint, or restriction point, is a critical phase where the cell assesses its size, external growth signals, and nutrient availability before proceeding to the S phase for DNA replication. If conditions are favorable, the cell continues to the next phase. If not, it may halt and enter the G0 phase where it stops dividing. This checkpoint ensures that the cell is adequately prepared for DNA replication and division, preventing errors that could lead to malfunctioning or damaged cells. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more, be sure to click here to check out our other videos. To get some cool science-themed merch, head over to our new website. The link is in the description. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one.